plein air painting has been a big part of my practice for a long time now. It's actually the thing that kind of got me back into making art after a very long break following art school. So on a recent camping trip to Caprock Canyon State Park, which is kind of like right at the center of the base of the panhandle of Texas, I decided to ask my kids for help documenting the process. Caprock Canyon is part of the same geological formation as Paladuro Canyon, which is larger and definitely more well known, but it's just a gorgeous spot of red bluffs peppered with green trees. It's got a real western vibe to it. I think probably meets a lot of the expectations of what people think of when they think of Texas. Even though Texas is actually very geologically diverse, but it has everything you could want, like a prairie dog town. They're super cute. And bison. And the herd that's at this park is actually pretty unique because due to conservation efforts of early Texas ranchers, this is potentially actually the last of the Southern Plains bison, genetically speaking. We also had a cute little visitor in our tent one morning. Wasn't little, about three inches long. She's beautiful. Once you start hiking along the floor of the canyons, it's just gorgeous with these red formations. And you're actually like walking over layers of gypsum. And occasionally you get views like this where you can see a cutaway and just see all the layers in there. It's just stunning. And if you're a geology nerd and or into crystals, then you know this is a form of selenite. There's just some added interest there. We had some really cool clouds that day interacting with the formations. And um, I am a little smitten with a good hoodoo. And when I found this one, that's when I decided I would stop and draw. My plein air work is generally really loose and gestural, and the materials vary depending on the conditions of where I'm going to be and how intense the hike is going to be. But what I'm using here is Mostly what I use a uh, watercolor block paper because it stays really um, steady and firm and then watercolor pastels because they are lightweight and easily uh, portable dry quickly and just because of the nature of that medium these sort of are like a blend between painting and drawing. I never know what to call them. Sometimes they're more painting, sometimes they're more drawing. I use my fingers, it's a lot like finger painting. They're just quick and they're about being in the moment and capturing what it feels like. As you continue along the trail, there's about 2.2 miles of flat, relatively flat, and then there's 0.3 miles of about 700 foot elevation gain, which is about the equivalent of a 50 story building. So it's kind of intense. This footage is actually going down because I didn't really have it in me to film while I was going up and didn't really think to, but um, it does give you kind of an idea of the ruggedness of it. You're hiking over a combination of slick rock and small boulders and loose rocks ranging in size from pebbles to softballs or whatever. I don't know. Um, the trail is marked, but it's actually pretty easy to kind of get off of it and kind of get lose your bearings a little bit. So it requires, you know, paying attention closely and, um, Sometimes you're like, you know, you're stepping up four feet 
sometimes you're using little hand holds and foot holds. So it's just like all the muscles in your body are getting a workout. It's not like climbing stairs where it's the same repetitive thing. It's just like there's a variation going on. And it was a really brutally hot summer and I was not hiking very much and I <laughs> was not in shape for this. And I really felt it, but um, also it felt really good. I I kind of enjoy pushing my body hiking sometimes and um, not too far, but far enough. And um, this one did it. So there's my son. You can see him. He's a cutie. You get some really great vistas, though, as you go up uh, at different levels and it's well worth it if you are into that kind of thing so highly recommend it just not in the summer definitely not in the summer so just a little ways up we found a an overlook with a great view and a great sitting spot and a great sitting and drawing slash painting spot so that's what i did So I usually just start out by um, putting a wash of clear water down. And then I just begin by blocking out shapes with color basically. And um, I'm using, I'm, I, I use a lot of water so you get a wet on wet effect but um, it was really windy up there that particular day and so um, wasn't there wasn't a lot of bleed happening. I really like this bizarro effect with my leg and my foot <laughs> where it kind of looks like it's some sort of disembodied leg. It doesn't even look like it belongs to me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really funny and um, Kudos to my daughter for unintentionally <laughs> capturing the video that way because it's quite amusing to me. I usually really don't like being in front of the camera and honestly this whole YouTube project is, um, I mean there's a lot of motivations and layers to it but there is definitely an aspect of me getting used to that and getting over that particular fear and hang up and um i gotta say as i've been editing the different videos it's just it's just like nerve-wracking you know but um i've never seen myself paint before in this kind of scenario and um disembodied foot and all it's kind of cool like i kind of um it made me see myself and what I'm doing in kind of a different way. And um, that's a little hard to articulate, but it was nice. It was a nice, like, seeing myself as the observer, seeing this practice that's like a very, very internally felt thing um, in a different way was kind of powerful. So here's this one finished and when I stood up I realized that I had sat on my camelback um, nozzle and <laughs> this happened. I also want to share this funny thing that happened in this panoramic photo that my daughter took of me where I obviously lifted my head as she panned and then that happened. <laughs> And then I'll just share some more images of um, scenes from the higher elevations because it's lovely and you get a sense of it. And uh, the last thing I will share with you then is a drawing that I did of the campfire with my son's feet in my little sketchbook that is dedicated exclusively to campfires. And I'll let this play out then with just some sounds of nature and hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.